Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs, and this is my hands-on first looks of the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, a high-end compact aimed at enthusiasts and vloggers. Announced in mid-2019, three years after the G7X Mark II, it keeps the lens and much of the body, but updates the sensor for faster shooting and uncropped 4K video, and becomes the first one-inch compact with, wait for it, a microphone input, and the ability to live stream straight to YouTube. It's going to cost you around 719 UK pounds. I had the chance to try out the G7X Mark III and learn more about it at an official Canon press preview. So in this video, I'll tell you everything I know so far, but do keep an eye open for my full review, which will go into way more detail. The G7X Mark III was also launched alongside the G5X Mark II, which is the version with the viewfinder, although it does lack some of the features of the G7X Mark III. And I've got a video all about that model too. The basic concept follows the same formula as its predecessors, not to mention Sony's best-selling RX100 series, that is, to deliver better quality than your phone while remaining pocket-sized. They do this by using a larger 1-inch sensor coupled with a bright lens, a combination that can actually roughly match a basic DSLR or mirrorless camera when fitted with a standard kit zoom. It's this combination of quality and size that makes them so popular. From the outside, the Mark III looks a lot like the Mark II before it. I've positioned the new model on the right-hand side here, with the old one on the left. Notice the grip on the Mark III, a small but still very useful bulge which allows you to hold it way more comfortably and securely than the annoyingly smooth flat front of Sony's RX100 series. On the upper right side, there's still the two-tiered dial with the exposure modes at the top and exposure compensation below. It's really nice to have these controls at your fingertips. There's also the lens control ring, although it seems to have lost the click and declick option of its predecessor. Sadly, there's still no built-in viewfinder. For that, you'd need the G5X Mark II, or of course Sony's RX100 Mark III onwards, but it does at least keep the cost down. Composition is entirely with the rear touchscreen, which, as before, can angle down by around 45 degrees, or up by 180 to face you for selfies or vlogging. The earlier G7X II was very popular with vloggers, but Canon noticed some of them were holding it by the screen, so they've beefed up the mechanism to reduce any potential damage. In terms of ports, there's USB-C and micro HDMI, and the former can be used for charging, and I believe also hopefully power delivery. There's also of course Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and in a fab new feature you can connect the G7X Mark III to your Wi-Fi, and actually live stream direct to YouTube. Details were scarce when I made this video, so I can't tell you exactly how it works, but I can't wait to try it out in my full review. In another unexpected but very welcome move, Canon's equipped the G7X Mark III with a 3.5mm microphone input. Yes, an actual microphone input on a 1-inch compact. From Canon! Thank the maker! I don't care there's nowhere to mount an external microphone and that you'd need to add some kind of bracket. This is a major upgrade for vloggers and leaps ahead of Sony and Panasonic's existing 1-inch compacts for audio. I'm still in shock. After all that excitement though, the lens remains the same as its predecessor with a 24 to 100mm equivalent range, an f1.8 to 2.8 aperture. So this range gives it a little extra reach than the Sony models which stick at 24 to 70 up to the RX100 Mark V. And please report the built-in 3-stop neutral density filter remains available and that's really useful whether you're filming video or trying out some long exposure landscape photography. The G7X Mark III and G5X Mark II become Canon's first 1-inch compacts to use a stacked CMOS sensor. It has the same 20 megapixel resolution as before, but much faster readout, allowing uncropped 4K video at 25 or 30p, 1080p video up to 120 frames per second for slow motion, a fast electronic shutter option up to 25,600 of a second, and quick bursts recording up to 118 JPEGs at 20 frames per second, or up to 70 compressed CR3 RAWs at 30 frames per second. Now, if any of this sounds roughly familiar, it's because Sony introduced stacked 1-inch sensors four years earlier on the RX100 Mark IV, and I'm guessing it's the same sensor that Canon's used here. Sadly, it's not the more recent sensor used in the RX100 Mark V which added phase detect autofocus as the G7X3 remains contrast based for autofocus only. But the faster shooting and in particular better quality video are still valuable upgrades. Looking at the video in more detail, the G7X Mark III will film 10 minute uncropped 4K clips at 25 or 30p, or half hour 1080 clips at 25, 30, 50 or 60p with sound and continuous autofocus. High speed 1080 is also available at 100 or 120p, but without sound or focus, and the files are automatically slowed down for playback. 
Wherever I looked in the menus though, I just couldn't find any 24p video options, which is a real shame, but at least we now have uncropped 4K on the Canon and the 10 minute clip length is double that of Sony's RX100 models. Wrapping up the other features are a menu system that more resembles EOS cameras with identical sharpening in the picture styles, focus bracketing although not stacking in camera, and a star mode which can now generate 4K videos. You can also set the camera to deliberately record video in the vertical format for presentation on IGTV and not rotate it during playback. The PowerShot G7X Mark III updates Canon's most popular 1-inch compact with some unexpected features which will delight videographers and vloggers in particular. It keeps the earlier 24-100mm to lens and much the same body and controls, but adds a 3.5mm microphone input, the chance to live stream direct to YouTube over Wi-Fi, and allows you to keep vertically formatted video filling the screen for IGTV and other phone platforms, all first for a 1-inch compact. Canon's even beefed up the display mechanism for vloggers who hold it by the screen. The resolution remains 20 megapixels, but the presence of a stacked CMOS sensor allows 4K video, 1080 slow motion up to 120p and fast burst shooting at 20 frames per second or in a raw only mode at 30 frames per second. Eagle eyed camera geeks will guess the sensor is probably the same one from Sony's RX100 Mark IV, which means the Canon G7X Mark III may gain 4K in extra speed, but sadly not the phase detect autofocus introduced on the later Sony RX100 Mark V. Strangely, the G7X Mark III also lacks 24p video in any format and doesn't have eye detection either. Canon's also resisted fitting a viewfinder, leaving it to the pricier G5X Mark II, which means Sony's RX100 IV and V remain compelling alternatives with their pop-up finders and again also face detect AF on the Mark V. But neither of those Sony's has a microphone input nor the chance to live stream over Wi-Fi and they don't zoom quite as long or offer a touchscreen either. As such, while there's some inevitable frustrations, Canon has debuted a number of unique features that will make the G7X Mark III as popular as its predecessors. Right, that's it for this first looks video. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my final review of the G7X Mark III. And of course, for more information, visit Camerolabs.com. Which only leaves me to ask you to generously give me a like and a follow. And as always, if you found any of it really useful, you can treat me to a coffee or treat yourself to a copy of my in-camera book. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think of this camera in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.